Hey guys, it's Danny here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a tutorial on uh, setting up the Kerbal Space Program. Um, we're going to start first with just some basic settings to get the game started. Uh, so in settings, there's a few things that uh, we want to turn on that I like using. is going to be um, Advanced Tweakables right here located under the Settings menu um, in general. So this just gives you a little bit more options to use when you're building your rockets. Uh, as you can see all my graphics settings, I'm going to keep them kind of low, that way I can still record at a decent frame rate. So we're going to go ahead and start the game, and we're going to create a new... Start a new game. Um, so the three options you have here are going to be Sandbox, Science, and Career. Uh, most people either choose Career or Sandbox. Science isn't used uh, as often anymore, because it, it was the one that was built just before Career came out. Um, so, but we're going to go with career mode. Uh, I find that career mode helps you to learn the system because it gives you missions to complete and each mission sometimes will um, help you to further along your knowledge in the game. So we're going to go with career mode. Uh, we're going to get this one uh, tutorial on the name here. Uh, we can choose any type of lab we want to use. We have a bunch of different styles here. Yeah, I think you get some more off of, um, for mods and things like that. But we're going to stick with the good old fashioned uh, Kerbal Space Program um, mod uh, flag here. Uh, then we're going to go into the difficulty options, and uh, you have your basic and your advanced ones. So the basic ones, we're going to leave most of these going to be the same, because we're not going to make it too difficult right now. Um, we want to make sure also we have uh, indestructible facilities turned on. This will help us so that if we do crash our rocket into the launch pad, it won't blow up. We won't have to pay money to uh, fix it. Uh, reverting flights and quick loading and missing, spawn, missing crews respawn. We want to have those as well turned on. Uh, we can increase the time it takes for them, but uh, I'm just going to leave that at the default. Same with everything else in here, re-entry, heating, starting funds, things like that. We'll just keep. I don't really use the stock vehicles. I like to build my own, so I'm not going to keep, not going to turn that on. We're also going to allow other launch sites. We may or may not use them. I don't use them very often. I just like the standard one, but if you want more options, then, you know, you have other launch sites. All right, so we're just going to go through this, and I'm just going to go through the basics of the overall um, user, user interface on this. We're not going to build any rockets just yet. We'll get that get to that on the next video. So this is just a quick run through of things. Uh, so this is your space complex here. This is everything that you're going to be working to uh, run your space program. The ones you'll spend the, probably the most time in is going to be the vehicle assembly building. That's where you're going to be building all your rockets. Next to it, it would be the space plane hangar. Uh, we won't be spending a whole lot of time there because that's going to be something later on when we start building uh, space planes. I usually don't start doing those until I really have a lot of the better parts, because it's just, it's not my thing. I do more rockets than I do space planes. Uh, the other one is going to be your mission control and your launch pad. These two will probably be the next second ones you'd probably use most. Mission control is where you're going to get your missions. The launch pad is where you're going to launch your rockets. Then we have our research and development. This is where we get our upgrades from. So when we want, when we get our science, we can go here. We can spend that science and get uh, upgrades to our... Um, vessels. Uh, tracking station, this is just uh, like a map, so you can switch between rockets here that are in flight, or you can just check the map out. It also shows you um, some of the orbital paths uh, from the missions that are either coming in or you've accepted. Then we have our astronaut complex. This is for hiring astronauts. Uh, this is really only useful during uh, more difficult games. Um, this one we won't be using very much because we have our spot, our crews will respawn. But when we start having more rockets in the air, then we'll be going to either be rescuing them, which is the best way to do it, or we'll have to you know hire some more. Uh, the problem with the with that is that the more you hire, the more expensive it gets. So it's just better to just start grabbing people out of orbit. We'll get those missions. The administration building is not used a whole lot again. It's one of those ones where you can change up how you spend certain funds. So you can either take your science funds and convert them to uh, physical funding, or you can turn your reputation into science funds, things like that. Or you can just do love things. So you can just spend a lot of science and get funds back and vice versa. Uh, the runway, uh, that's for launching space planes, or uh, also what people refer to as your single, uh, single stage to orbit space planes. Again, I'm probably not going to go there very often, but um, that's just... Uh, for later use. So uh, when you're in this screen here, uh, your controls are pretty basic. Um, I mean, you can you know use your mouse to rotate around. You can zoom in with the scroll, uh, things like that. Really pretty simple stuff. Hovering over to these on here, we'll show you the 
uh, drop down menu of what it is, kind of explain it to you, or you can just click on it and go to it. Over here on the left side is a uh, kind of a quick uh, click. So if you just want to go here, I don't use this very often. I just go straight to it. I mean, this is, I don't know why this is even here. This is not my thing. Up at the top screen here we have our, this is our mission time. So this is how long we've been on this particular game. It is, uh, we've been for three minutes. It's day one, year one. Below that is going to be our um, fast forward time. So if we want to speed it up, you know, 10 times, 1,000 times, you know, all the way up. Okay, so it'll just go through days and days and days. So now we're at day seven. We've spent seven days here and we haven't done anything. Um, this right here is just to warp to the next morning, so as you see, it's starting to be kind of sundown, so if we warp like this, it'll forward, fast forward, and then it'll slow down and stop at, sun, at sunrise. Down here on the, or let's, so at the top of the middle, uh, middle section here, this is our, um, rewards, I guess we would say. Our funds, things like that, things that we can spend stuff on. So this is just your actual funding, um, credits. So every time you launch a vessel, uh, you'll spend your credits. When you get it back, you'll retrieve some of those credits, but you also will sometimes get a, uh, a reward for completing certain missions, and that will come in in the form of credits. Next to that is our reputation. It's right down the middle right now. We have no reputation at all. Uh, when it goes green, that means we have a positive, and it goes yellow um, or red, that means we start going negative, and we have bad reputation. Reputation is usually going to affect your missions and what you can get. Uh, then that's, that is our science funding, so every time we go up and grab science experiments, we'll get a certain amount from this, and we can use that again to uh, research and develop um, new um, experiments, new equipment, things like that. You also can get science funding from completing missions. It's not as much as you would if you were to complete uh, your experiments. The problem with the experiments is that once you've ran it on a certain location, it's done, you can't really get any more science out of it. Down here on the bottom right, we have our KSpedia. This is a place you get more information about uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, it's really useful when you're just, you just like forget something or you can't remember how to do something. You can just go here and just look it up real quick and see what you want to figure out. Next to that is our mission contracts. So we don't have anything loaded because we haven't accepted any contracts yet. The next to that is our messages. This is where it will show when you've completed a mission or a contract and uh, or if you. Um, completed any type of world first milestones. You'll see they'll start popping up here and uh, we'll all show you how to close those out when we start getting to them. Then of course you have your exit or your pause menu, bring up this. Uh, we can only resume the game there. Alright, um, so we're going to go ahead and start this game.